everyone it's louise here from crazy borgies i hope you're all well i hope life is treating you kind and um yeah that you're all fine and dandy anyway right i have an unboxing for you today this one is from new craft day they sent me a lovely email asking me if i would like to try some new products and of course i said yes and uh here we go i do have a discount code also given to me for my subscribers so i will link all these products that i'm about to show you in the description bar down below and i will also put a link to their website and i will put my discount code which is crazy 10 capital c r a z y 10 and you will get 10 percent off any purchases okay so i've done many collaborations with uh new craft day and they, their website is a budget friendly website and um very good quality products very good quality drills i've actually just finished uh completed one of a promotion one that they sent me not so long ago actually and the quality of the drills once again is always excellent so and the adhesive is good i really do not have anything bad to say about this company at all um the only thing is slightly i've got one little jib with them and that's this pen now you may have seen this advertised on many websites but with new craft day i think that you have to purchase the um the wax separately to the pen and i didn't realize that at the time so i had to wait a bit longer for the pen but that's fine um and of course i ordered pink i think it does come in several other different colors as well and i will also do a video testing that out this um this pen because i'm intrigued to see how well it picks up the drills and how well it works anyway Right, so before I get started on to unboxing and unbagging everything, I would firstly like to say a huge thank you to New Craft Day. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, then welcome also. You will hear my naughty little parrot Rio in the background. And um, please like, comment, subscribe, share and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It is Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. And also, if you hit the bell on your... Somewhere down there on the um, computer, there's a little bell. And if you click on that, it will notify you of any future uploads of my videos. Okay, right, let's get started. Right, so I have one, two, three, four diamond paintings to show you. And three products three um accessories i'll show i'll say one of them is a new framing idea so we'll have a look at that it's always good to uh, look at new ways of framing because obviously you know it can get expensive can't it so this one is a 25 i think 25 by 40 yes and it comes with a standard kit your green boat, your wax, your pen, and then some plastic tweezers. Okay, so that's just a bog standard kit that comes in most diamond paintings. We have the drills here. So purple is this sort of colour on this lovely. Now I have got the other one of this. I am trying to get the set of these beautiful, beautiful seahorses. This one... It's a purple one, a purplish pinkish colour, and I do already have the blue one, so I did want to complete these all. I think I got the blue one from a different company. Um, yeah, so the blue one has like a yellowish background, and this gorgeous purple and pink one has a blue background. So slightly different, but the image is the same, just with different coloured drills. So we have 16 different colours and crystal 
different crystal rhinestones and shapes on this and the symbol on the bags is exactly the same as the symbol on your drill area let me just close this window this uh, curtain is that a bit better no hang on a second there hope that's a bit better now it looks a bit too dark let me turn the light on i can never get the light in my hair i hope that's better for you guys okay so 25 by 40 and it's a beautiful seahorse i'll zoom you up so you can see the gorgeous symbols the gorgeous print nice and clear print and it is a partial so once again you only diamond paint where the symbols are and the sticky adhesive and yeah one day i'm just going to sit down and do all three of these i think when i get a moment so there is our serial number and the size and there is our legend and it has all your crystal dmc codes there And I think there's a purple one, a blue one, and there is another colour. I'm not sure what the other one is. I'll have to have a look. And that is what the finished product should look like. I think we're all just in love with these seahorses at the moment. They are just so cute. So there we go. And it is a nice clear print as always. We we'll have a look at those those uh, crystals in a minute. I just want to give it a quick little measure just to see. The drill area is coming in at 20 centimetres by 35 it will probably be. Oh no. Well, we say 35 because it's still got a bit of a roll in it. Yeah, 34 and a half. So there we go. Let's see if that... I think that looks a little better. So that's my first little item. And as I said, I really love these uh, little seahorses at the moment. They're quick, easy and super cute. Super cute. I'm just going to turn my little light on. There we go. There, that's better. So, yes, really happy that I've got the second one. I just need to get the third one now. So, but I think these are selling out pretty quickly, these ones. So, there we go. Oh, I didn't check the adhesive. Let me just check. Yep, adhesive is nice as always. And if you lay it underneath some heavy canvases or heavy books, that will be nice and flat. But you can also iron the back of the canvases on a very, very low heat, which I never do because I just don't like doing that. So let's have a quick look at these crystals for that gorgeous seahorse. okay so we do have some special shapes as well going on let me just check the canvas code ka353 yes it is correct okay right so we have a golden yellow then obviously we have a purple we have a black so let's try and point it up a black then we have a purple oval shaped rhinestone there, just three of them. And then we have a tiny little teardrop in pink. We have a yellow, medium size. And then we have our large, our three large 
teardrops. Now these are massive. Look at the size of them. They're sort of like a, a lilac, pinky purple colour, these ones. And we have three of them. Let's just see how many I've got on here. I think we've just got two of the number 10. So we've got one spare. And then we have purple. We have a large purple there. And then we have another bag of a different shade of purple, I think. Yeah. Another purple there. Another purple. And then a clear medium size and a pink. A clear large size. And then a bag of normal clear rhinestones. So, all 16 are there. And that should look absolutely stunning. It would look really nice, I think. Um, perhaps in like somewhere like... I don't know, if you lived by the coast or somewhere like that, maybe. Or a bathroom. Anywhere where there's water, really. I'm pretty sure, though, with seahorses. I know I was, I was saying this earlier. I think they, the males give birth, don't they, in the seahorse world? I think so. I'm not... I'm not too clued up about seahorses all i know is they look really cute <laughs> so that's that's pretty much as far as my but i'm sure i've watched a documentary or two on it and they say that the men the male seahorses are the ones that carry the babies and give birth to it makes a nice change <laughs> anyway right so next thing i'm going to show you is an accessory which is i've shown you this before because i've unboxed one from a different company before i do get the same color all the time which is white but that is purely because i do very colorful um paintings diamond paintings and yeah i'm not sure which way around it would go probably that way and uh, so I always like to keep the borders um, quite neutral colours because I know my canvases can get very, very, very bright. And, yep, yeah, they as again, they come in se several different colours. I think about four or five different colours. I think there's a blue, a yellow, a minty green, a pink. I think there's a lilac colour as well. And obviously white. I always go for white. But then you never know. I might actually go for a different colour next time. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. So, with this, because it's been rolled up and you don't know how long it's been rolled up for, I'm wondering... This is just an idea. Don't quote me on it. To get rid of some of these kinks that have it in them obviously you can't iron it because it's got adhesive and this is on your foam i was thinking if perhaps you sort of hang it up somewhere stretched out or or even lay it underneath something heavy like we do with the canvases so maybe just do it in half like that like this underneath some heavy canvases or hang it up somewhere you know with uh, some clothes pegs or something just to stretch it out for a couple of days to see if that makes any difference with these creases who knows it might it might not because what i'm noticing is the creases there's a lot on the back here so, who knows? Who knows? It is a very pretty design, though. I haven't used it on any of my canvases just yet, but I will do. I will sometime. I need to find the right one, though. I'm quite fussy about the type of washi tape and the type of uh, 
pattern that I put around the border of my uh, diamond painting. Oh, I don't know why. I'm a, just a bit OCDC when it comes to those sorts of things. But as I said, I will link all the products down below. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to tell you how much everything costs. Just to give you a rough idea. So, but as I said, they are budget friendly. So that's always a good thing. Especially for me. <laughs> and especially for many of us, I think, because of the way the world is at the moment. bills are mounting up most definitely especially the electric jeez the electric has shot up over here in the uk there we go right so there is that just put that over there for now and we will move on to a, another diamond painting so this one i have done one really similar before but I love bubble rounds, I love crystal rhinestones, and yeah, I saw it and I was like, okay, I'm going to get this one. So, it is a 40 by 30, a landscape piece, and it is a full crystal rhinestone drill. So, everything gets diamond painted. And it has a bubble effect at the end of it. And I have done one really similar. And I really loved the end result. So when I saw this, I was like, aha. Uh -huh. Just trying to roll it so that it gets nice and flat. There we go. So. There we go. It's really, really similar to another diamond painting. In fact, I'll show you the other diamond painting that I'm talking about. Um, and I really loved it. I really loved doing anything sort of like with a Mediterranean vibe. And where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's in my port. Portfolio. Oh, God, the weight. I don't know about those of you that have portfolios, but with the crystal rhinestones, oh, my gosh. You really feel it. Let's just say that. So this one is similar to, I think, it's very similar to this one that i done. Um, look at all these. They're all my completions. Guys, <laughs> this folder's just full up now. So I'm on to my lovely, um, my other folder that I got as well. I think that one was from New Craft Day, actually. So, yeah, and I really enjoyed this one. So when I saw this next one come up, I was like, oh, yes. Yes, thank you. So they would look really good together as well, I think. There we go. But this is really, really similar to that, apart from, obviously, the missing lighthouse. Let's have a look. So we've got a few birds going on there, a few lovely, gorgeous waves and whirls, and of course our boat. Yeah, adhesive is good, and this one has eighteen different shapes and crystal rhinestones oh. okay Yeah, that's better. 
so the legend the symbols on this is all numerical just exactly the same as the last one one is one two is two so the number on the bag corresponds to the same number on the diamond painting area so yeah i'm gonna zoom you up now so you can see how lovely this print is nice and clear so gorgeous birds there as well there is our canvas number and the size and then our legend and it does have as you can see all the dmc crystal codes there so I know not quite a few people store their crystals via the DMC codes. I don't do that. I just can't. <laughs> I just want to sit there and just get on with diamond painting or stitching, whatever I'm doing. So that is the thumbnail. That's what it should look like once completed. So, yeah, I think that's a real Mediterranean feel to this. The colours especially. Real. Stop. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this parrot. There we go. So, yeah, there's this one. We'll have a look at the gorgeous drills in a minute. 18. All 18 of them. So it's coming in at 30, 35, I'd say, by probably 25 yeah by about 24 and a half no by 25 exactly sorry guys i wasn't holding the tape measure right right so yeah that obviously this that is usually what the size of a 30 by 40 is or 40 by 30 it's usually the whole canvas size but the diamond painted size is obviously Usually you, you lose about five or six centimetres around the border, but that's fine. Okay, right, so let's have a look at these crystals. These gorgeous crystals, KA173. So we're just double checking this number is correct with that one, which it is. Wow, lots of shiny crystals here and different shapes. So, I think we'll start from this end. So, we have a bag of clear. Another bag of clear. I think we've got three, two bags of clear, actually. And then we have a medium size in clear. Then we have a blue. Another blue in the medium size and a light blue as well that's that's typical blue sea sort of shade isn't it not in the uk though <laughs> mind you in parts of cornwall they they do have uh sea and devon that is uh blue as this yeah and then we have a large blue and then we have a different shade of blue this is more like a, a purpley blue sort of shade and that's a dark blue. Then we have a large clear rhinestone. We have a green rhinestone. And again, the quality of these drills looks absolutely fabulous. And then we have a golden yellow, a medium golden yellow, a large an orange, of course, orange, and that's a medium size. And then we have a normal size in orange, and then a few large ones, and then we have our reds. So we have a large, normal size, and the medium size, whoops, and then just a few little black in there. So all 18 there i do like looking at the crystals actually that way you can get a better idea of what 
the finished products will look like. Okay, so there is our beautiful Mediterranean Sea image, I would like to say. Lovely. Okay, and the canvas is really soft as well. So I'm going to do now another accessory, which you've probably seen. So it's this fabulous diamond painting pen. Let me just cover the cage because Rio is driving me insane. Right, let me get you out in a minute, okay, darling? Just take a chill pill for now. There. Okay, right, so this pen it comes in a few different colours. I think it comes in black, blue, a mint green colour. So, and it comes in its own little case, which does have a slight crack in it but it's nothing major I don't keep my pen cases anyway really so I just wanted to try this out well actually they wanted me to try this out now I think it might already have wax in it and I'm not sure how this goes but basically I think that it has aha there we go Lou there Ah, so it does have wax already loaded in there. And from what I'm seeing is you just basically push it down. Like so. Like that. Ah, that's it. And then it comes out the top like so. That's clever. So can you fold it back in that? No, you can't. But okay i did actually get some spare wax so you have some pink some white two white and one pink but you have to buy that separately but it's worth knowing that there is already wax inside but for a refill you would have to buy separately so but I was thinking you could always just make it yourself, couldn't you? You could roll it up yourself, these little cubes of wax, and just plonk it in there yourself. Why not? So, yeah, we'll give that a shot. I'll do a few diamond paintings with this and see how I get on. And I will let you guys know. So, interesting. It's good. You know, these things are all designed to help our lives a little easier. And... It's good that they reach out to us to try them so we can say yay or nay. Whoops, why is this not going on? Is it going on? There, it's on. So there's a pen and I know quite a few people have um, done unboxings of this pen as well. But... Mine is just a little later than others. <laughs> okay, right. Next diamond painting is a partial. Okay, this is a 30 by 40. It's another crystal rhinestone. And you'll see why I chose it in a minute. It comes with your standard kit, but this one has baggies in it, which is good for storing leftovers. Okay, and it is a crystal rhinestone drill. There we go. And it has 12 different crystal rhinestones. I think it is just crystal wine stones. I don't think there's any special. Oh no, there are special shapes in here. Okay. And I saw this and I thought I've got to get that one. 
I've got I could not say no to this one. There we go. So Ta da! Now you know I just had to get this when I saw this because that is my Rio. That is my baby parrot. And as annoying as she is, I love her. And, you know, I wouldn't have her any other way. Well, maybe a little bit less noisy. So, as again, I said, this is a partial. So you literally only diamond paint what the symbols are on, the adhesive. Whoops, nearly dropped the camera. Sorry, guys. Right, let's just relax this canvas a bit yep yeah, adhesive is good as always we do have some funky symbols but that's fine it just looks like rio to me rio i've got your twin here <laughs> oh bless her right so it comes with two legends one down here one up there and 12 different crystals and i think we've just got one special shape we'll have a look in a minute and again it has all the dmc crystal codes there i'll just zoom you up so we can see these funky symbols that we all dislike <laughs> But there we go. Nice clear print. I mean, quite a lot of it is diamond painted, to be fair. It's only just a little bit of the background that's not. So there is the item number and the canvas size. And that is what the finished result should resemble hopefully i just saw it and i thought it's really cute i've got to get that it's my little rio my rio de janeiro so yeah there we go guys so there is this gorgeous partial i'm not gonna bother what's it called measuring it because they're all from the same company anyway have a quick look at these 12 rhinestones okay so we have reds we have pinks here we have an orangey yellowish color another golden yellow green another red different shade of red another orange a green a really light baby pink color and then we have a brown crystal rhinestone it does look black but actually close up in the light it is brown and then our special shape is these gorgeous yellow pearl domes so they're just sort of scattered around to resemble the berries in the in the flowers. Whoops. Really good quality as well. Again, can't see many problems with these drills at all. Right, there we go. So, so there's that gorgeous parrot or rio number two i should say right last accessory now is this new framing idea so basically you get your wooden what is this called a woman a, a woman a, wo a wooden dowel i think that's what you call it 
Oh no, my phone's running out of battery, guys. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay. I'll just try and speed this along as quickly as I can. You get your wooden dowel and you get a large, and I mean an exceptionally large roll of, is it called duct tape? You know, the really thick duct tape. This stuff. Now, it's really strange material actually it's got like a shiny has it got a shiny backing to it i'm just gonna try and open it now because it's got some of this clear back there we go so it's like really really shiny black duct tape which I'm already getting good ideas about a border for. <laughs> but basically what you do is you sort of stick this to the back of your canvas. Where is the thing? And you get a ribbon as well. So you could stick that to the back of your canvas, that to the back of the canvas and then hang it up somewhere. Now it's a good idea in theory i don't know how how it would work but i'm loving the shine on this now i don't usually go for black but i'll give it a shot i'll try and get one of my canvases and see how it holds out i'm not sure though if it would if it would be strong enough to hold the um the weight of a canvas and uh well let's have a look at the stick on this actually while we're here it's a good idea and i'm glad that they're looking at new ways to frame canvases Yeah, I mean, the adhesive is very good. But over time, will it hold up? I don't know. I don't know. We we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll test it and we'll see how we get on with it. But if not, you could always use it as a nice frame for your diamond painting. So, yeah, I, I like the idea. But I'm just not sure how it will hold up over the test of time, especially when it gets really hot. You know, the adhesive can sometimes get really, really unsticky. Is that the word? Lose its stick. That's better. So, yeah. But I'm always up for trying new ideas, and that, that seems a good idea to me. Okay, right, last but not least is the last diamond painting. And this one, I think I saw someone doing a whipping chat actually. And I'm hoping I haven't double bought this because it is highly a possibility the way my mind's at at the moment. This one comes with your standard kit and it has a white boat this time, which we don't see many of, not in this design anyway. So you get your normal single place of pen and your wax. And it is a normal acrylic crystal rhinestone. Not crystal rhinestone. A normal acrylic resin rhinestone. There we go. We have our canvas number that is really there. Yep. Okay. And it is a 30 by 40 full drill and it's just beautiful colours of happiness, I'd say. It has 24 different diamond colours on it. 
and the legend is all alphabetical. Ta da! So I'm pretty sure Sweet Tea done this canvas, I think. I think, or one similar, and I was like, ooh. But I'm not sure if I've already got it, guys, to be honest with you. But if I have, it's all good because then I can put it in a giveaway. Because Sweet Tea's canvas selections, I just always love. The adhesive is really, really strong on this. So, yeah. Those drills aren't going nowhere. I'm sure it was Sweet Tea. Or maybe Enza. I don't know. Enza's painting gallery. I love her, her choices as well. In fact, I love all of them. You know, they all have good, good taste in diamond paintings. Oh, the stick on this is really, yeah, it's really strong. So I'm just trying to relax this canvas. Although, to me, it doesn't look like it has been rolled up for long. And it most definitely will flatten out nicely after a couple of days underneath some heavy canvases. So we have this gorgeous panelled, colourful fence background. And we have two gorgeous butterflies and a couple of flowers, including a sunflower. Which, as we know, is the symbol, I think, for the Ukraine. The Ukraine flower. So I saw it and I was like, I really like that. I really, really do like that. Sunflowers are one of my favourite sunflowers to look at, not to have in my house because I feel like they attract too many bees and wasps and all that. And I don't like buzzy things. They freak me the heck out. I just can't help it. Okay, so I'm just checking the canvas code is correct, which it is. And then we can just have a quick, gorgeous, a quick look at these gorgeous colours. So, yellow, brown, lilac. Actually, that's like a black colour. Lilac, pinks, orangey brown, yellows now, blues. Oh, it's all the colours of the rainbow, isn't it? Beautiful. Burgundy, green, brown, another yellow, a blue, light blue, another pink, another purple, another blue, and then just a little bit of white. So that is just gorgeous colours, I tell you, this is amazing. I just love colourful diamond paintings. They really cheer me up. They really do. Okay. So, 24 different colours on this one. And it has been printed in the new star print, which is always good. No funky symbols, just alphabetical as well. So, lovely. There we go. So that is my unboxing complete. I am just going to quickly go to check my emails to get the prices up for you so I can tell you roughly how much they all are. Right, I'm back again, guys. So I've got all my prices ready here. So the seahorse, this lovely seahorse, is $5.15. Is it? I don't know. I'm not clued up with how you, you speak in American tongue or with money. <laughs> So I'm just going to say $5.15 and this beautiful full drill crystal rhinestone of the sea is $7.68 and this gorgeous parrot is $5, this one. And this fence panel sunflower. I'll call it is $5.38 this one so that's the diamond paintings there and then this 
the frame with the wooden dowel and the sticky tape very generous amount of sticky tape is five dollars 48 pence not pence cent cent is it <laughs> i don't know guys and then i didn't actually google how much that was i'll just go and have a look and do this in a minute the pen though that this pen that came with the wax inside it was three dollars 28 for the spares of the wax for this spares is two dollars 80 so that's worth knowing if you want to invest in the pen hold on i'm just going to find out how much they charge for that foam uh frame thingy majiggy two dollars 55 for this foam adhesive frame so if you like anything that you see here then obviously i will link all the products down below in the description bar please use my discount code as well to get your 10 percent off it is crazy 10 capital c lowercase r a z y 10 okay and you'll get a lovely discount so that's all my completion for today's video so as i said this gorgeous 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 colors of happiness just trying to arrange my table so you can see them all at the same sort of time and the C and then sort of do it like that I think today the seahorse then obviously we've got our framing idea our pen with the wax and then this foam tape frame so yeah all in all a good little haul from new craft day thank you ever so much new craft day for sending me all these items so they did send me these items free of charge obviously as a promotion video for themselves um, and it's always a joy always a pleasure to show and share these beautiful paintings and crafts with you all so i hope that you all enjoy my video please give me a thumbs up Please like, comment, share and follow me on TikTok and Instagram, Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. And also give me a thumbs up and I think I've already said that and turn on your post notifications. That's the one. I'm a bit forgetful today because I've got a bit, my insomnia has come back with a, with a passion. So, um, yeah, I'm not sleeping very well at the moment for obvious reasons, but you know and hence why i always feel like a zombie in the daytime not good not good but um yeah i be interested in to know which one of these is your favorite i'm kind of swaying towards rio <laughs> for obvious reasons and the gorgeous seahorse because i do love my animals and um yeah and this in fact i like them all that's why i chose them anyway please 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 look after yourselves and most importantly one another and hold your loved ones very very close and give them lots of cuddles tell them that you love them because yeah after what i've been through this last month trust me you need to because you know tomorrow is never promised I'm sure Diamond Grandma says that, but you kind of know what I mean. You know, tomorrow, well, we just don't know whether we're here or gone tomorrow, do we? You know, so you've just got to try to embrace your loved ones and make the most of the time that we have here on this earth plane or whatever it is we're on. Um, and yeah, thank you all again for your lovely prayers and your your thoughts for my family we you know it yeah i don't really want to talk about it because i don't want this video to be like down in the dumps and you know that's not me you know i'm always so upbeat and happy especially when talking about this fabulous craft um so i'm going to try not to talk about it too much on my channel 
uh, the funeral is not going to be for about four weeks now because they've got a backlog of burials or something like that. So, you know, there's really not that much that I can do anymore until the funeral. So, and this time in between the death and the, the burial, it's always really tricky, isn't it? So, just feel like they're on holiday somewhere. Anyway, on a happier note, I hope you've liked this video. And um, I hope you like the, the choices that I made. And I will speak to you all soon. Take care. God bless. And look after yourselves. And most importantly, one another. Okay, bye for now, guys. Bye.